College Algebra, Topic 5.3 from the lesson. Okay, we want to graph this function here. Uh, first, we're going to strip off all the parameters. The parameters are here a is 1, a is any number that's outside here, b is any number that's on the x, so b is going to be negative 1, c is any number that's added to x, which is 1, and d is on the outside, and that'll be negative 2. Alright, so we're going to strip all the parameters off, and then we're going to graph this. So when I take all the parameters off, we're left with log base 10 of x. Or log base 10, we can also write that as log of x, because log is the same as log base 10. Then we'll put our parameters on one by one. We'll put C, B, A, and then D. Or the order will be C, B, A, then D. C bad. So C first, which is 1, uh, which will be the one there. So this will be um, log 1 together with the positive x. That's a positive x. So when we put a positive 1 next to the positive x, we get a 1 plus an x. Next. The b is a negative 1 on the x. So this will be log with the 1, now a negative in front of the x. Okay. And lastly, we need, um, let's see, a is going to be 1, so we don't need to change that. d is going to be negative 2, so we'll put that in there. Log with negative 1x, and then minus 2. And from that, we'll also get our domain and range. Okay. So the parameters for a basic um, logarithm, or the parts of a basic logarithm, is that it has a horizontal asymptote of x equals 0, sorry, vertical asymptote of x equals 0, the point 1 comma 0, and it is a rapid to slow growth. All right, now with c being positive 1, this is going to push everything back to the right one time. So the asymptote becomes x equals negative 1. The point 1, 0 goes back to the point 0, 0. And the graph, the orientation of the graph remains the same. It is uh, still asymptotic here and rapid to slow growth. Asymptotic, rapid to slow growth. Okay, so that was our shift to the left. Next, we have a negative on the x itself. A negative on the x itself gives us a, um, I should say, a rotation about the x-axis. So this gets spun around. So we x equals negative 1 on this side becomes x equals positive 1 on this side. 0, 0 remains 0, 0. And the graph, rather than going down the asymptote on this side, will go down the asymptote here. And what you'll have is um, slow, to, slow to rapid decay. Okay, finally, minus 2. Everything goes down two times. If you lower the asymptote down twice, it remains x equals 1. If you lower the point 0, 0 down twice, it now becomes 0, negative 2. And the graph remains here. a little poor. Right. Now, the domain. The domain is how far does the x's or the graph go along the x-axis to the left and then to the right. Well, according to this, I, negative infinity, I can go back forever. But I can only go as far as 1 on the um, x-axis. In fact, it's an asymptote, so I can't even get to 1, so I'll put a parenthesis. Okay, as far as the range is concerned, how low and how high does the graph go? Well, since it's traveling down this asymptote, it can go down to negative infinity. And since this part right here is rising, it's going to continue to go up. So that's positive infinity. Now, solving logarithmic equations. To solve a logarithmic equation, we're going to convert from log base b of a equals x to base b of the power x equals a. 
this is the property we're going to use again log base b of a equals x will be converted into log um, base b of x equals a okay number five so converting this will be a base of one half raised to the fourth power equals x raising this to the fourth power we get uh, one half times one half times one half times one half which is one over sixteen and that finishes the problem here we have a base four raised to the one half power and that equals x um, we're going to convert this exponential into a root so this will be the square root of four equals x and the square root of four is two so x is two Next, number seven. Um, this is a um, common log, which means the base is 10. So this is the same thing as log base 10 of 0 0.1 equals x. So base 10 raised to the x power will equal 0 0.1. When we convert it to an exponential. Now, this as a fraction would be a 1 over 10. 1 over 10 is already to the first power. So when we convert this, this becomes 10 to the negative 1 power. Since we have the same bases, we can equate the numerators, I'm oh, sorry, the exponents, I should I say, and um, x equals negative 1. Okay, here, our base is 2. We'll raise this to the x power to equal 0 0.125. Now we're going to turn this into a fraction by turning this 125 all over 1000. Then we're going to reduce this. This reduces to 1 over 8. Now I want to convert the 1 eighth into a whole so I'm going to take a reciprocal of it. Right now it's to the first power so this will become 8 to the negative 1 power. Now I get a common base of 2 here to the x and here 2 to the third power for the 8. All still raised to the negative 1. We can multiply the exp we multiply the exponents so we get 2 to the negative 3 power and since we have common bases we can equate the exponents so now x equals negative 3.